All right, well, I'm out in the shop today, and I'm just doing a clean out here of my enclosure. Ever since I fixed my patch panel here and got rid of my leaks, I've really been satisfied with the way the enclosure is draining. With the addition of the flood coolant ring, I, uh, I'm getting a lot more coolant flow now, and I'm really accumulating a lot of chips. Like, this enclosure fills us up really quick, especially if I'm running parts. I just finished running some of the Marathon motor mounts, and you can see that, you know, doing this material removal right here, you really end up with a lot of chips. So, the issue that I'm running into now is I have to clean out these chips, and also, the way I've got the drain, every the coolant does kind of run around and it goes down pretty good but you can see how it kind of the chips accumulate right here and they start to kind of like dam up and it lets the coolant back up so it's not a big deal I just reach in here and I blow the chips away from my screen that I have here and the screens here just to prevent you know some of the big heavy chips from going down into the coolant well what I'd like to do is I think we're going to change things up. I want to remove that and I'm going to remove this drain tube and then just cut the bottom of this rectangle tray out and just remove this whole bottom section. What I'm going to do is I'm going to nut a tub like this and I'm going to stack directly on top of this. I'm going to remove all this and then all the chips will be able to flush down into this top tub and then I'll put a drain in the bottom of the top tub with a screen to let the coolant flow back into the tub here but leave the chips inside and then that way I'll have like a chip bin that I can just kinda roll this out and remove I'm really reluctant to cut into the bottom of this I did all that welding and uh, I was I'm really happy with the way it is and it drains fine it's just the chips um, they're starting to become a problem so I think having a chip bin is just gonna make things uh, at least make my life a little bit easier so that's what we're gonna do today and that's what we're gonna do in this video okay guys so what I've done is I've taken a second tub and I've just marked the bottom here and I'm just going to cut out a couple of squares here these right here fold and that's going to hold in my mesh here now this is um, stainless steel uh, perforated sheet metal and that's what I was using before and then on top of that I'm going to put an 80 mesh stainless steel screen and that's going to get the fine stuff from going back in my coolant but I'm just taking the skill saw jigsaw here and cutting out these squares alright so I've got my mesh screen you can see I ended up pop riven it in here so it's permanent um, the plastic is it'll crack so I was trying to do it the way I did this particular container where I just kinda made these little flaps but this plastic this type of plastic is a little more flexible than this tub here so I just went ahead and pop riveted it in and now I just got this real fine stainless steel mesh and that's going to catch the fines um, it will end up getting a lot of this really really fine material you can see that it this really fine material and you don't want that in there so it's just going to clog up the filter so if we can pre-screen that that'll be good so I've got the tub just sitting on I didn't change the coolant tank at all I just rerouted the hose to come out the end instead of this hole and these tubs they kind of lock on each other so that should be okay and the height for my particular situation is just perfect so it'll just slide right up under there so next all I need to do is cut the bottom out of my tray here alright guys well you guys that follow my channel know that I struggled trying to TIG weld this pan up so that I could patch this area here so that I could prevent my coolant leaks. Well now with the flood coolant and trying to be able to wash all my chips down, I probably could have just left it with the big hole that I had before. Anyways, 
two steps forward, six steps back. That's the way it usually goes. Anyways, reluctantly I took my cutoff wheel here and cut this off. So now that's going to allow me to just slide this up under there and everything will drain down into here. Now I've got that stainless steel screen in there but I'm also going to put this stainless steel mesh. This is uh, I think this is number 80 and that's going to catch all the small fine stuff and hopefully prevent my filter from getting clogged. I've relocated this up here so it'll make it easier to change but I, what I needed was clearance to move this in and out so I've also I'm going to be replacing this hose you can see it kinks I noticed some people some people noticed that in my video it didn't it probably did restrict the coolant flow uh, however I don't know how much so we're gonna get that swapped out with some reinforced hose and I'm gonna try to route it up higher so that it will uh, not kink all right so let me get all this stuff together and sort it out and then we'll see what we've got all right guys well I've got it all connected back up I'm using this reinforced hose uh, so it doesn't kink looks like that's working good now a funny story on this hose this is some RV supply hose it was 25 foot at Lowe's for $18 and they had the same 5 8 inch or half inch in ID reinforced clear hose, 10 foot for $15.99. So this was a way better deal. Uh, I was able to get enough for both my wash down hose and run it up to my coolant. I've got no kinks now. I can't really tell if there's more pressure, but uh, it looks pretty good. The drain looks like it's working really well. I don't see too uh, much of an issue with leaks. There's a little bit right there, but it's just kind of the way it's running off, I think. Uh, I do know that my floor is not quite level. You can kind of see that from the bottom of my enclosure. It looks like this could go up like that to kind of level it out. But, um, I can probably put some kind of little shim there. Not much I could do about the floor. But you can see now it drains down really good and it's going to just kind of wash all those chips down. So that'll be good. Try not to get splashed here, sorry. So now I won't have to worry about building up in the corners there. I used to pile them up over there and then pile them up over here out of the way and now when I rinse down I can just rinse everything down into the tub. Alright. Wow. Kind of went as planned. I'm a little concerned. Um, I didn't have really any issues. So we'll have to see how this works out once we're actually running but Right now, so far so good. You can see it's kind of, well, you probably can't see, but in the back back there, it's kind of going down towards that corner, the back corner down there. That's just because of the way the floor is. So I'll probably make some kind of little shims or something just to kind of level it out. All right, guys. Okay, I think I've got the flood coolant situation drain fixed now. I'm going to be machining some belt drive risers uh, next. We've done the motor mount plate, the motor plate, and now I'm going to do the risers for the belt drive kits. So we'll actually get to see how well this actually rinses the chips. But before they were kind of gathering up against my uh, screen mesh that I had right there, and it was kind of making like a dam. So this is good. And now, I think now they'll just kind of follow along the contour and drain right down in there man I'm really happy really happy with that I think that's going to work out really well um, again I want to thank Adapted Machining uh, he was using the double tub situation and uh, 
luckily for me with the caster up underneath uh, that I picked up you know one of those five dollar casters at Harbor Freight I can just have it the perfect height so I can roll this out when I need to and uh, hopefully everything's going to work out just just fine we'll know tomorrow when I start machining alright guys stay tuned for the next video which will be machining the belt drive risers as always guys Please feel free to make suggestions, ask questions, and leave comments. If you're new to my channel and you're just tuning in, you like the video content, click on the subscribe button down here below. I always get confused, but right there. And uh, when I post a new video, you'll get a, a link. And if it's something you're interested in, you can stop by and check it out. Thanks for watching, guys. Oh, yeah. Coming up on 10,000 subscribers. Guys, I couldn't have done that without all of you guys being interested in what I'm doing. Uh, it's really kind of humbling knowing that what I love to do, there's 10,000 other people that are interested in doing the same thing. Guys, keep watching. I'll try to keep posting good content. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and most importantly, be safe.